Okay, here I am. I'm doing it. Just Dale on the Jenna Podcast, and today I'm going to talk about my feelings on Star Wars The Acolyte. Let's do this. Okay, so I've gone through episodes one through four of Star Wars The Acolyte, and I never thought I'd be doing a video like this. This is going to be a little different form from some of my other videos. There's no script or pattern here. I'm just going to speak. I'm just going to speak to everyone on how I feel about the show. I've seen the first four episodes, seen a lot of backlash going on for the show, and I'm just going to get this out here for at the risk of a million dislikes and comments and discrepancies and discussions because I'm here. I'm here for it. I think open discussion is great. I don't hate the show. I really don't. I think the show is actually good. I enjoy the show. And, um, well, let's get a little more into it. I, myself, before anyone goes to, yeah, well, you don't know Star Wars, you don't like Star Wars. Of course, I'm not the deepest, biggest Star Wars fanatic. As Qui-Gon would say, there's always a bigger fish. So, of course, there's people out there who are way deeper into Star Wars than me. But I'm also far from a casual Star Wars fan. I am... I'm I'm pretty deep. I mean, I've had Star Wars VHS box set, had the special edition, the gold one the, with the extra scenes added in. I've read Shadows of the Empire when it was first released. Um, all the the Jedi twins books, Han Solo's the children, the Solos. Um, yeah, video games. I've been there since Super Star uh, Return of the Jedi and the SNES. Like, uh, you know, I've been I've been into the Star Wars lore, comic books, everything for for a long time. So not a casual. I get it. I get it. I get all the deep stuff. And um, I was pretty upset when they took a lot of stuff out of canon and had the Star Wars Legends thing and revamped the canon and the whole new trilogy. Whatever. We're not going to get into that. We're getting into the show. The Acolyte. OK, so I understand a lot of the criticism a lot of the nitpicks here and there, but just to be honest, as a show, and I'm probably going to get a lot of people that disagree here, for the Disney Plus Star Wars shows, at this moment, for just finished episode four, like I said, there's still a lot more to go on. It could get worse. It could get better. But at this point, it is probably in the top three of the Star Wars release shows, to me, personally. Um, if I had to put them into some type of order, of course, Mando, Mando was amazing. Love the Mando. It had its issues. It had some things in continuity that were a little weird and some things that seemed forced also. So we could speak to those points at another time. Uh, of, well, let's just go to the bottom of the barrel. I absolutely, I, I, it was hard, very hard for me to watch Andor. Didn't enjoy Andor at all. I think it was very boring. It wasn't a good show to me. Um, so that that's 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 where I go. That's that's my top. That's my bottom. Everyone fills in between. Um, I would say Obi Wan wasn't. Eh, it was it was okay. I, I enjoy Obi Wan the character. I, I like what they did. Of course, we got Darth Vader, so that was amazing. But I don't think the show was that good. I honestly wouldn't rewatch it. Um, Ahsoka, the same. It was a good show. Rosario Dawson is an actress. I love it. The character was so good. I love the character. But the show to me wasn't something to keep me like wanting more coming back. I watched it. It was good. We had Thrawn, all the nostalgia in there. It was cool. But uh, Boba Fett show, now that I, I really enjoyed, even though they also took some liberties with continuity and him escaping the Sarlacc pit and things like whatever. So I would place the Aga like. As of now, behind Boba Fett, maybe equal to Ahsoka. And I say this because the show from the first episode, I really enjoyed the first episode. And it was something new and fresh. It, it brought some fresh ideas. Of course, we like to see the Jedi Order. It's taking place 100 years before the um, old, it's not the OG trilogy, but 100 years before the prequel trilogy. So... We get to see some stuff we don't normally get to see on screen. And it was something different with the Acolyte. And of course, we, we had Trinity. Like, wasn't that not amazing? So 
I think we got to, oh yeah, spoilers if you haven't seen it and banging on it, whatever, spoilers. So I think that was good. I think they introduced some character that I'm actually interested in. Saul, love him, I hate him. He's interesting to me. Uh, Yord, he's an interesting character to me. He's, he has a persona and a demeanor that stands out. I can't tell you many characters that stand out from the other shows, from Andor. I don't really have anyone in my head who stands out. So I give them credit on that. The sets, eh, they're not the most elaborate Star Wars sets by any means, but for a TV show, they're passable to me. Um, the story, things with the witches, what we're getting here, I believe, is something of fans and canon and a show taking liberties on a property where they probably had the ability to do whatever they wanted to do. So when I'm looking at the show as a show, not as a Star Wars purist, I don't have an issue with the witches and the things that are going on. As a show, as a story is going on at the time, it seems like it's going to wrap up and make sense. So like, let me just say, I don't know. I'm not going to say that. And then it goes another way. And I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is garbage. But as of now, it seems like it can work as a, as a star Wars purist and someone who's in, into, uh, like Dothamir and all of that, I can understand where people are like, oh man, whatever. But we got to remember, this is something else. This is a, it's not, um, let's follow star Wars lore, which I don't know if that's what we want or not. What? Cause there's some things that was great. Some things that aren't, um, with that being said, the other characters, uh, the main character, Osha, I believe her name is, and May, I do enjoy them. I do think they're interesting. Um, I do think she is doing a, a decent job in the character and creating a little mystery and doing double take time. Uh, the main villain hasn't really been revealed yet. The Jedi's haven't really got to do much yet, but we've seen a little bit. So I'm hoping that the action kicks up a notch later on as it usually does with the Star Wars shows. And it, it can be some good entertaining action. Now, I'm not going to speak to the Keanu Mooney thing because once again, that's a canon and not canon debate and argument, whatever. I'm like, hey, I'm not married to the old Star Wars lore. Obviously, it's already been beaten out of me by all of the other things they did by now. So yeah, I was angry about that at one point, but after the new trilogy, you know, it's so many things. I'm still waiting on Dash Rendar to show up. Like, so maybe I'm already beaten down by Star Wars. Am I, am I, uh, what I, what I'm looking for has lowered maybe, maybe not, but I think as a show alone, standalone, the show is decent. And if I had to bring someone into Star Wars, the world of Star Wars, my entry point was usually a new hope. I usually like people watch a new hope or the Phantom Menace. That's the debate where there should bring someone in there. But if I had to bring someone into the star Wars world through a show, I think this show might be easier to bring in masses than say Mandalorian or Boba Fett as good as they are. Those shows do build for star Wars fans more than just the general public. So I do see a purpose here in this show it's a it's a little it's a good entry point and it's not a bad show so far i don't think i don't really have a lot of issues with a lot of the characters and the story progression so far and that's just so far like i said it couldn't get better and i could say i love it it could get worse and i could say i hate it but for right now i think it's okay it's in the, it's in the middle for me it's not bad i've seen everyone ragging on it i've seen a lot of the reviews and stuff and a lot of people do have points and some of them do just seem like they're just jumping on dog palling on it i don't know that's my opinion. Um, I'm ready to discuss it further in the comments as everyone wants to. If anyone wants to bring any other things to my attention, I'm sure to listen. Like, it's cool. It's a show. And um, I'm just glad Star Wars is getting more things. And I think they can build from here. So, like I said, not my favorite. Not my least favorite. Me, personally, I, I like to see more lightsaber action in my Star Wars. I don't really... I'm not a big fan of just the whole political thing, um, too much politics, but I understand it's a part of Star Wars, so I deal with it, but I want to see action, I want to see stories and intrigue and mystery, because I feel like that's what Star Wars is about, and I, I think this does deliver on a lot of that, 
So I'll be watching. I'm sure a lot of you who love it will be watching. A lot of you hate it will be watching. We'll be talking about it all day. And I'm, I'm there. I'm watching everyone's videos. And I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the process. And can't wait to see what's next. But uh, that's my probably unpopular opinion on Star Wars The Acolyte. Um, hit me with a thumbs up. Even if you don't like my opinion, hit me with a thumbs up. Hey, come on. Anyway, uh, it's your boy Just Dale. And check out some of my other stuff. Maybe we'll connect there. Maybe we won't. Uh, did a cool video on a quiet place not too long ago. Check that out. It was pretty amazing. All right. That's it. And I'm, I'm out of here.